Hi, hi Ning. Hi, nice hi, to meet hi. you. Fine, thank well. you. Yes. Uh, okay, glad to invite you to share views of the pro network. Okay, first, uh, welcome everyone to watch our live stream of your bank channel. And then we will start our topic of the future of decentralized infrastructure, a pro network. Uh, and first, could you introduce yourself first? Uh, yes. Hi, everyone. My name is Ning. I'm the business development manager at APRO Networks. And first of all, I want to thank Outbank for hosting us today. And a little bit about myself. I started investing in crypto since 2016 and started working in the industry in 2018. Prior to April, I participated in the early stage of many uh, projects. And uh, we, I really do believe in the vision of April Network, so I decided to join the team personally, as well as our team. We really want to make a contribution to the Web3 ecosystem. Good. OK, thank you. Uh, OK, let's begin our today's question. Uh, first, could you give us some brief information about the Pro Network? Uh, yes, so April Network is a relatively new recent project. We Our store begins in 2020. At the time, our tech team was working on another uh, blockchain project. Uh, there was a significant incident happened in 2020 where Binance, MetaMask, Coinbase, and a lot of the other uh, networks all went down at the same time for a period of two hours. And the project we, our team were working on was affected as well. The cause of this event is because the new service provider these companies rely on, Infuria, uh, failed to update their Ethereum node on time. So after this happened, our team started rethinking how can we do to avoid this? Uh, is there anything that we can do different to prevent this from happening? And this is where Apron comes in. Apron is a decentralized infrastructure service network that provides service to developers, application users, and infrastructure operators. We provide service such as uh, new services, on-chain uh, data indexing service, quotation service, and uh, Apron is developed by Substrack and could be operated as a pair chain of uh, Polkadot and Kusama. In the future, we do uh, planning to connect to multiple public chains, uh, providing just a uh, different service to developers with low cost. And as of now, we have uh, been listed on Huobi. And as we're speaking today, we are officially listing on Gate.io. And uh, like many other Polkadot projects, we are currently in the preparation for the Slack auction. So the idea of doing a pro network came from the uh, significant incidents of Infura last November, right? Yes. OK. And uh, as you mentioned in the previous, uh, a pro network will provide infrastructure services, such as node services, on-chain data indexes, and quotation for Kusama, Polkadot, and uh, Hacko ecosystem. So is there any condition for the developer to become a node and what interest will the gate? Uh, we have already began to provide service on Heco Chain, which will adopt the technical architecture of April Networks. As we all know, you know, DeFi projects on Heco is developing rapidly. It really captures the market's attention, but they are lacking in infrastructure service. Our product on Heco will help us to establish a starter user base. You could really think of it as our demo version of our uh, future product, which is an important first step for us to become a Apron service node. You only need to use Apron SDK and deploy it to your own server. This way, you can quickly gain access and become a new service provider with us. And as a service provider, you can get two parts of income. One is paid income from user using your service. And the second is mining revenue rewarded by uh, us. Uh, so are there any other competitors so far from, from the concept with the purpose of Infura? 
what are advantages for a pro network compared to competitors? Um, you know, service providers on a pro network will likely to face uh, competitors such as Inferia, the Graph API three, and uh, other products in the same subdivision service area. Uh, currently, products on the market only offers centralized service, and the service mostly focuses on its own subdivision, which there is really no general technical solution to link all of these subdivisions together. Essentially, that just means that there have not been a product or a project that is uh, truly uh, decentralized. Uh, which is a good news for us. It means that we don't have any direct competitors. Uh, you just said that currently products on the market only offer the centralized service, and uh, these services mostly focuses on their own subdivisions. Uh, so can you tell us why does the blockchain ecosystem need a truly decentralized infrastructure services platform like the uh, pro network. Uh, like every project will need new services, and currently most projects rely on centralized service like Infura because it's just too costly and time consuming to uh, a single project, especially for the smaller projects, to maintain their own needs. Like I said, events have happened where these service providers fail to update or other incidents, which cause all these other projects using their service went down at the same times. At APRON, what we do is we combine the force of all individuals who are capable of running a need. That means they have their own uh, server and provide our customers with a choice of working with all of them at the same time. So even when one of the providers goes down, our users won't really be affected because there is still other providers working for them. So basically, Apron is uh, compared to other services will be much safer, cheaper, and convenient for uh, centralized new service providers. And we are really trying to adopt within or without the crypto space. Just we really want to create a truly decentralized, you know, service. Okay, you're saying that. Uh, the consumer effectiveness is one of the uh, problem's main features. So uh, I wonder like, how much would developers serve approximately by using your platform compared to other projects on the market? And uh, how do you manage to reduce the cost of using your platform? Uh, for example, if you want to develop on uh, Uniswap or in a insurance project, you need to retrieve the off-chain data and asset information of the user accounts. If you want to develop on Ethereum, you will need to build a new, and the new needs to query the corresponding data. Compared to other uh, new projects, Apron essentially combines everyone who has the ability, who has the capability to uh, set up their own nodes, and the developer will be able to choose whoever they want to work with. And the most amazing part is that they can use several ones at the same time. So as the volume of a provider increases, our algorithm will balance it out eventually throughout the service providers, which will remain us or we will be able to maintain a stable and cost-effective ecosystem. Okay. How, uh, I want to know uh, how a pro network provides uh, extra responsible security as compared to other system. Uh, can you please uh, clarify in simple terms? A lot of people here are not from a uh, technical background. Uh, if you explain that in simple terms, they will have more ordinary folks uh, like us uh, to be cheered into your project. Uh, yes, definitely. So in terms of security, just to give you one example, we offer encryption service to all the service provided by service providers. So that when someone is trying to attack our customers or our users uh, by hacking into their server, uh, they won't even know where to go because we have so many service providers and there won't be any links that uh, who is providing the service to whom. So it's more decentralized, right? Yes, definitely. 
Okay. Uh, we only know the token of the pro network uh, APN. So could you share some uh, information about the tokenomics of APN? Uh, so the token, uh, non, uh, the economic model of APN network, uh, April network APN is really similar to Chainlink. APN is our native token, which will be used for actual payments with business application scenarios. When users use uh, our service, we will charge our service fee, which will be locked or destroyed. So APN has a different sharing model. We also have two staking portals, which will lock most of our token into uh, uh, to increase the chance of user to earn income from staking. We are aiming to be like a multi-chain network uh, to be able to provide service on other uh, public chains as well. Uh, but APN will be our only token and the users of APN will be more diverse as we progress, as we uh, build on, on our services. I see that a pro network help uh, developers to build depth using your platform. So may I know about uh, a pro network business model and the ability to produce income for maintain your project. Do you charge developer uh, when they use your platform? Uh, so there are many roles that will be involved in April network, such as the uh, provider, uh, which are the infrastructure service providers. They will provide its capabilities such as Ethereum RPC service, Polkadot RPC service, Oracle service, privacy protection services. And we have the miner, which are the new miners, which they will obtain rewards by providing and running needs. Uh, we also have the consumer, which they are will be the uh, the app, DeFi, and just our developers in general. They will pay APN token required for the service uh, to, uh, you know, infrastructure service providers. And we also have the inspector, which will be rewarded by uh, supervision and inspect the operation of the service on our network. We also have, you know, last row is the delegator uh, by providing APN token to the miner and uh, provider for staking and receiving APN token and a portion of the service fee. Uh, so uh, APN takes effective of uh, service settlement and uh, stimulates in the April network participates participants really pay APN to use infrastructure service and obtain APM by providing resources and construction, thereby forming really a close uh, ecosystem loop. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, each project, uh, hope that they are uh, more and more demands to use their tokens. Uh, so how will the demand of your token increase in the future? Uh, and uh, what should you do uh, increase token demand? Uh, the demand of our token really do exist since in order to use our service, you will need to pay in APN. With the increase of users, in order to facilitate the payment of the users, we just recently introduced uh, XAPN, which is a service payment stable coin created by staking APN. Most of the time, market price are fluctuating. So we will, we are launching uh, XAPN that is, uh, that could be expected to enable the app uh, developers and users on APRON to continue use APN, XAPN to pay for the service usage fees, but with a relatively stable price. So uh, the service payment you're paying won't be uh, really affected by the market. Okay, great. Uh, and we know that uh, marketing is a central element to every project. Uh, so that everyone knows uh, the potential that a project can bring is vital to achieving the gold set. Uh, what is your strategy for attracting new users and the investors to your platform and keeping them long term? Uh, you know, we do have like amazing community who really help us through our development, who help us, you know, coming, becoming so far. 
and we are continue to focusing on expanding our partnerships with other projects and just enhancing our community activity as a whole. We really want to focus on bringing our community closer and uh, we do planning on to host a series of campaigns and events to engage our community members. We focus on operating three types of communities. Uh, first is developer community, and the second is service provider community. And third, of course, is our token holder and investor community. Uh, we are you know, constantly hearing new ideas and developing and testing new product. We just want to, you know, overall increase our service quality, providing the best for our users. Okay. Uh, and I, as far as I know, uh, a pro will contribute to the uh, Kusama slot auction. Uh, what is a pro uh, strategy on Kusama slot auction? Uh, can you explain the process of doing this? Uh, you know, uh, as a Polkadot project, April Network will definitely join the Kusama slot auction. And we do want to provide service for Polkadot ecosystem as early as possible. And we all know that Steam uh, Statemate, which is the first uh, feature for prior chain on Kusama, has already been working smoothly since uh, June 4th just for a couple of days. Uh, Kusama's parachain functionality is uh, now available. We are do, uh, we are expecting parachain launch trials for uh, all projects who wants to participate in the next few days. So uh, we do are planning our strategies according to that as well. Some well-known parachains in the market, uh, such as uh, Plus, uh, Akala, uh, so what are your strategies for uh, initial parent offering? So we will launch a test named Capron, K-P-R-O-N, which is the network that Apron deployed it, uh, will be deploying on uh, Kusama. And we will issue KPN on Capron network as a portion of the token allocated by Apron network. Uh, Capron will be swapped with APN with one-to-one -one ratio, so which one KPN will equivalent to one APN. And this will not change the tokenomic of uh, uh, Apron network, and the total amount of APN will remain the same as well. Sounds great. What are your plans uh, as for the timeline of the auction? Mm, as we all know that uh, Kusama slot lease, leasing period is divided into eight periods of six weeks each, which is 48 weeks in total. We are planning to participate in Kusama parachain slot auctions starting from the third slot. Our aim is to get a slot for testing, you know, as early as possible. April will first bid on the first lease period of six weeks. The following bidding period will be determined based on how, you know, our first bidding goes. And of course, on the testing conditions as well. Uh, participants who supported April slot auction on Kusama Network will reward it with a fixed return of token for six weeks. The uh, reward uh, mechanism will be in accordance with the unit of KSM uh, contribution. Uh, so basically, we will take 8% of total unit of APN into Kusama and Polkadot parachain slot auction as a reward. When Capron wins a, a slot and successfully runs a parachain, uh, contributors will directly receive a 35 cross a uh, bonding a reward of APN and 35% uh, on the second month and on the third month they will receive 30%. Uh, so what, what do we uh, as investors have to do to participate? Uh, Apron choose to crowdfund our slot leads using Kusama's built-in crowd loan uh, mechanism, which allows you know users to contribute by uh, agreeing to lock up their own uh, KSM until the end of the lease. Uh, campaign index probably is one of the way to join the local crowd loan 
I do think that, you know, Kusama will definitely uh, publish a guideline and how that goes. Another thing we are uh, working on is we're trying to work with uh, exchanges and wallets to add just extra channel for participants uh, as well. We really want the, for our participant to be as easy as possible. And there might be, you know, a lot of channels where you can participate in the selection as well. Uh, I think mainly guys uh, wonder that uh, about the uh, short-term and long-term goals of a pro in the future. Could you tell us about that? Uh, sure. So after the launching of April on uh, Huobi, we are working on Kusama slot auction. Uh, meanwhile, we are uh, preparing on April's testnet. At this time, we are recruiting, you know, a new service and other infrastructure providers to just adding new addition to our network. As uh, everyone might see in our uh, roadmap, all of the essential utility will be available for use uh, for the Ethereum and Polkadot ecosystem for free in quarter two. And with the continued improvement of our network, Apron will dedicate itself to build a seamless infrastructure service platform on other parachains as well uh, that will be coming up in quarter three. And these you know, developments will, of course, eventually lead to uh, the launch of our mainnet in quarter four. Uh, from the perspective of traditional software and information system, Apron Network is a form of middleware service. We really hope Apron can uh, be seen as a uh, example of putting middleware theory into practice. We want to be able to be a platform that provides uh, communication between uh, blockchain and application software. So yeah, that's our uh, long-term goal. Okay. Uh, for some reason now, chat. I, I can see the messages. Wait, wait for a moment. <laughs> wait for a moment. Uh, okay, Mimi. The network is poor, so I can see the message from our audience. Uh, with from I guess. Uh, okay, I have seen a lot of uh, you know questions regarding why it's a good thing to hold our token and why you should buy a new token. I guess uh, a lot of the tokens on the market, they only have investment values. But as for uh, APN, we do have real business scenarios that is backing us up. So, you know, our price will be uh, maintaining stable and in price. We as a network, we really want our, you know, token not just to be a, you know, investment token or just be, you know, a price of money. We really want uh, our token to hold business scenarios or functionalities and we want them to we want more you know developers invite more developers into our network as well thank you uh, uh, so many information uh great uh it's a variable sharing uh thank you and uh, mm, i think i have got so many knowledge about a pro network thank you and uh, maybe uh, because of the time limits and the uh, internet today uh, is so poor. Uh, so we want to pick a question from all our audience. Uh, if our audience want to know uh, more information about a pro network, uh, please leave a message to notice us. OK, uh, our, today, uh, our today's event is ending. Uh, OK, thank you. And uh, hope you success, uh, successfully uh, get the slot auction. Thank you. Thank you for having us today. And if the audience have any questions, feel free to follow us on social media. Uh, there will be tons of information about April Networks. And feel free to ask in our you know, Telegram chat. There will always be someone to answer all of your questions. OK. OK, thank you. Thank you. Bye. OK.